What is a clinometer? A clinometer is a tool that is used to measure the angle of elevation. You can use a clinometer to measure the height of tall things, such as flagpoles, buildings, and trees. How to make a clinometer? The materials needed for a clinometer is a protractor, a drinking straw, tread, scotch tape, clip, and a pair of scissors. Put a hole to this part of the protractor. Cut the straw to the other side. Prepare the thread to your desired length. Attach the thread to the hole of the protractor. Tie the thread four times to ensure it's secure enough. the other end of the thread, tie the clip. Again, tie as many times you want to ensure it's secure. And now, attach the drinking straw to the protractor. And attach the scotch tape to the straw. Before this video, we already prepared strips of scotch tape. Your output should look like this. How to use a clinometer? First, find your spot in an object to measure. Face into the object using the clinometer to measure the height of the building. With the help of your members, they will list down all the measurements. Measure the observer's eye level down to her feet. Measure the distance from your spot to the base of the building. the exact illustration. This is the hypotenuse, this is the adjacent side, and this is our observer. We denote x as the partial height of the building. The distance of the observer to the base of the building is 4.1 meters, and it's parallel to the adjacent side, so it is also 4.1 meters. The angle of elevation is 40 degree, and the height of the observer from the eye to its feet is 1.57 meters. To get the angle of elevation, get the angle based on its angle shown in the protractor 50 degree and subtract it to the 90 degree so our angle of elevation is 40 degree. We will use the formula tan is equal to opposite divided by adjacent. Tan times 40 degrees which is our angle of elevation is equal to x divided by 4.1 meters which is the distance of the observer to the base of the building. X is equal to 4.1 meters times 10 40 degrees. We have an answer of X is equal to 3.44. Now let's find the height. H is equal to X plus 1.57. X is represented by 3.44 plus 1.57 meters. So, we will have an height of 5.01 meters, which is our final answer. Thank you. Thank you for watching! Like us on Facebook! <laughs> 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 <laughs>
Saturday, oh. Bye. 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 <laughs>